Salim Kaji was nearly 20 when he took his first formal singing lessons, but he's made up for lost time by becoming one of South Africa's most popular pop opera performers. Not content with blurring genre boundaries, he's also introduced an Eastern element to his backing orchestra, as we heard in his recent concert. Every day I wake up, then I start to break up, knowing that it's cloudy above. Having mesmerized audiences across South Africa and abroad with his classical voice since the release of his debut album Cry for Love, Salim Kaji is staging a once-off musical experience and Cape Town is serving as the perfect backdrop. Salim is uniting the East with the West as he performs some of the world's most popular songs and I'm meeting up with him just before the show to find out how it all came about. Tell her about my While Salim would be the star of the show, success would depend on the synergy between the conductor and musicians, as well as the sound and lighting teams, and everyone was striving for perfection. Salim, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. And welcome back to Mela. Thank you so much. With a playlist that includes some of your favorite songs to perform, you've added an Indian element to it. What inspired you to do this? Even though I'm singing a lot of Italian music, a lot of English music, and a classical pop style, the fan base and the support have actually been a lot of Indian people, which is, which is heartwarming and fantastic. So I thought I wanted to sort of meet them halfway and bring some Indian flavors into the sound and to the music. I can only imagine the process that it takes to get the show up and live. Where did it actually begin for you? Besides the musicians on stage, there's so many people working on this production from logistics managers to marketing to publicity to musical direction, conducting and also the little details that you see on these lighting designs. So it's a big show which I enjoy very much. Salim, I definitely want to chat more. Should we head off? Absolutely, let's go. Now, how did you assemble your musicians and the various instruments that will be played here tonight? It has been very challenging combining these instrumentalists. We've got sitar, we've got uh, bansuri flute, we've got tabla. Because their music is not scored like an orchestra is, we've had to have many, many workshops with them and for them to rehearse with a pianist. I and mean, that took many, many months of, of practice, but they, they have wonderful energy and they're very committed and I'm, I'm very honored to work with them. What's it like performing with an orchestra? It's like surfing on a wave in the ocean for me. It's such a lush support. When you're singing with so many musicians behind you, you become one part of, in the cog of this whole wall of sound. Music has the ability to unite cultures. Now in a South African setting, why do you believe it's so relevant? Music is created by human beings. And as human beings evolve, as human beings grow, so music changes and I think in 50, 100 years time we're going to hear sounds that do not exist today with cultures that are so much influenced by each other. With Cape Town playing host to this exclusive event, do you plan on taking it to the rest of the country? Absolutely, I, I want to take it to Durban, I, wanted to take, I want to take it to, uh, to Joburg and then the rest of the world. If you can breathe and if you can learn to speak, you can learn to sing. It's words that you heard as a youngster. Now what words of encouragement would you have for the next generation? It's important to know yourself. It's important to find your style, find your genre. And it's important to be authentic to who you feel represents you in terms of your sound as a singer. And be inspired by people that have done things great. Musical director Raymond Ferster had been busy harmonizing the performance of the orchestra and the backing vocalists. When Salim first approached me uh, with this project, I was, I was terrified, number one. And number two, um, got quite excited as we went on um, workshopping our ideas. Raymond, bringing two distinctive sounds together, were you faced with any challenges and how did you overcome it? One of the first challenges we faced was how do we combine Western tone tonality with, with Indian traditional tonality. But I think we managed quite well to marry the two quite effectively to still have the Indian flavour but combine it as a cohesive musical whole. What's it like working with Salim? He's, he's passionate about what he's doing and, and I always say that if you add passion you can you can work with that you know that, that's a good place to start so it's been amazing. How would you best describe what we'll be seeing here tonight? I would hope that people take away some message of hope and hopefully music unites us. The Eastern Trio featured sitarist Akash Srikawal, Vishen Kamraj on tablas and Liake Parker playing the bansuri or bamboo flute. Oh. 
Wow, that is sounding amazing, gents. Oh, What's thanks. it like working on this production? It's something different, something beautiful, out of this world for me because I'm used to playing Eastern music most of the time. Never played English music before. It has been a beautiful journey for me. It's really exciting, lots of learning in it, and um, I'm really looking forward to the unique performance that we're putting together. And for yourself, what has the experience been like? Working with Salim is such an awesome experience. His tone production, his timbre, his emotions in the songs is absolutely phenomenal. James, what do you hope that the audience will take away here tonight? The first thing they would take from this experience is something really new. Uh, they would hear a very fresh sound to classics that Salim is going to be singing. It's going to be a mind-blowing performance tonight. Absolutely. Jens, thank you so much and good luck for the show. I look so forward to watching you from the seats. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Cape Town has played the perfect host with the sun setting and people arriving. There's only one more thing for me to do and that's take my seat. It's showtime. Hello. Thank you so much. I look forward to the show. Thank Selim's you. voice had already earned him a dedicated following among lovers of light music in the Western Cape. With the audience settled comfortably in their seats, it was the moment of truth for Selim. To a party, and everyone turns to see this beautiful lady that's walking around with me, and she asks me to a feel. I say yes, I feel wonderful Salim had pulled it off, and some proud family members awaited him. With his distinctive romantic style and brand of music on display here tonight, it's so obvious to see why he is so popular. Now my favorite renditions have to have been Oh Solo Mio and Can't Help Falling In Love. Salim is world class. <laughs> 